Welcome to this episode of Maxim Outdoors. This week I'm taking you back to Laurel Hill State Park. This is Laurel Hill State Park Part 2, and we're checking out some awesome waterfalls, dams, and more on the Lakeside Trail. So uh, stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss this one. All right, guys, welcome back to a new episode of Maxim Outdoors. This is part two slash week two of my Laurel Hill State Park video series. Uh, this week, I'm tackling the Lakeside Trail. It's around uh, close to two miles long, and we're going to be traversing pretty much the entire lakeside today, all the way down to the dam following uh, Laurel Hill Creek to a road and then turning around and doing it all again. So uh, here's my first stream crossing of the day. But uh, anyway, if you missed last week's episode from uh, here in Laurel Hill, make sure to go, to go back and watch it. I hiked the uh, Hemlock Trail. It was actually a pretty awesome trail. So uh, today we're gonna be trying to find some uh, wildlife, maybe some wildflowers and uh, Fish are jumping like crazy today. It's May 13th, kind of an overcast, dreary, drizzly day, but uh, not gonna stop me. So uh, Laurel Hill, we're back at it. Nice views of the lake. And uh, we'll touch a little bit more on the history here in a little bit. All right, here's our first little interesting stop on the trail. Uh, if you missed the video last week, I kind of touched upon uh, how each state park in Pennsylvania kind of has its own theme. And uh, this park here, Laurel Hill, obviously, uh, is very heavily influenced by the CCC, the Civilian Conservation Corps. And uh, we're looking here at a modernly built uh, example of what the CCC used to do around here. Um, back in 1935, July 1st actually, 
the CCC came to this park before there was a lake, before there were really any trees here. The lumber industry clear cut pretty much every single tree in this area. The CCC came, built trails, the trail I'm standing on, these structures, the dam, uh, helped stop erosion, planted trees, you name it. Pretty much everything in this park can be attributed to the CCC. So uh, pretty interesting and figured I would make a little note of that as we're uh, stopped here at this old CCC pavilion that was uh, renovated. So some nice views here of Laurel Hill Creek before it uh, heads on out into the main lake here. A lot of fishermen out, I'm guessing for uh, trout season, but uh, beautiful day, beautiful May day so far. Like I said, we're gonna end up at the dam that the CCC built. This park was established in 1945. So uh, pretty old in terms of uh, PA State Parks. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, touch a little bit more on that in a little bit. So as we walk, uh, along this trail that was built by the CCC boys back in the uh, probably late 30s I'd say maybe early 40s um, there were actually two camps here not really sure how many men worked out here but uh, in order to be in the CCC you had to be single and you had to be between the ages of uh, I think it's 18 and 25 and uh, they sent all these guys out to work they built uh, trails dams, help stop erosions, planted trees, so on and so forth. And uh, they got paid about $1,000 a month, but the catch to that was 25% of that had to be sent back to their parents due to the Great Depression. So uh, the CCC lasted from 1932 or 1933 up until the outbreak of World War II. So uh, really, if World War II wouldn't have uh, happen who knows we might have uh, even more awesome state parks and stuff in PA so uh, it did last a while a lot of people liked it obviously it improved a lot of uh, areas including this one here and uh, without them you wouldn't see really any of these trees here they planted just about everything we're looking at besides the uh, the hemlocks we looked at last week so the lumber, the lumber industry pretty much uh, ruined this entire area, and we'll talk a, a little bit about that in a minute. All right, so the first uh, half mile was pretty uneventful, but uh, did stumble across some more wildflower here. Got some of these uh, white trillium, as you can see. Saw a couple of those earlier on the hemlock trail. And uh, some, some uh, looks like artist palette mushroom on uh, the tree in front of us, as well as all kinds of bird species and whatnot. You can see there's trillium all throughout this hillside here. But uh, I guess while I'm stopped here, if you were here 100 years ago, back in uh, you know the 1920s, 1930s, none of this would have been here. None of these trees, this was all clear cut. The lumber industry basically came through this area, I think it was like in 1886. This is one of the last places in PA from what I read that was kind of untouched. Well, the lumber industry got their hands on it, clear cut everything. They would have cut down the trees at the base and uh, only left the tops of the trees from what I read and passing by locomotives, the steam engines, they sparked a lot on the on the tracks. So uh, what happened is uh, they ignited a lot of these uh, cut down trees and whatnot and caused major forest fires all throughout this area. From uh, everything I've seen and read, they said this area, as well as most of Pennsylvania, was pretty much a barren wasteland, no trees, erosion was ran, running rampant no uh wildlife you know people came out and pretty much shot and killed anything they could find to support their families back in the day and uh yeah it just wasn't a fun place to be here in pa lumber industry would have cut up these trees especially hemlock and uh, white pine from what i remember 
and ship them down to towns like Uniontown, Pittsburgh, West Virginia to reinforce uh, the mine, the mine shafts and whatnot. The mining industry was obviously the the bread and butter around here back in the uh, early 1900s and 1800s. So uh, there's that. A little bit more history. So uh, another reason you can. Uh, Thank the CCC for places like this because without them, these trees wouldn't be here. So, I'm uh, going to continue on here and uh, hopefully, I'm not boring you guys too much. Just hundreds and hundreds of these trillium all over the place here, as well as uh, some of these little yellow ones that I'm not really familiar with either. But I did want to stop and just show you the, uh, the size of some of these trees whenever they get uprooted. I'm guessing this guy probably just uh, got kind of eroded into the lake. But I mean, look at how big some of these uh, these stones. I mean, that one is like an actual boulder, but I mean. That's me to scale. I mean, that's gotta be almost 15 foot high. Pretty incredible how uh, vast these root systems are on these trees. So just wanted to stop and show that off real quick. All right, here's a nice view of the dam here, built back in the uh, 40s, I believe, by the CCC. This was all pretty much overgrown last time I was up in this area, so uh, I might try to see if I could get down there and do uh, a time lapse or something, so.
All right, well, here we are. Official end of the road. You can see Seven Springs, Scalton, a couple miles away from where we are. But uh, officially heading back to the truck now. That's going to wrap up uh, today's adventures, the Hemlock Trail and the Lake Trail. So I'm going to make my two-mile voyage on back. Lots of ups and downs, lots of muddy spots. The trail is pretty rough. It's pretty strenuous in case anybody out there might want to do it. So, all right, we'll see you in the next update. All right, you guys, well, uh, I think this is going to wrap up this video here from Laurel Hill. This is part two, the Lakeside Trail. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, learned a few things. Uh, we touched on the CCC, the lumber industry, saw some wildflowers, a cool dam. And uh, yeah, it was a successful trip. Really enjoyed this hike. It was a bit strenuous. Definitely broke a sweat once or twice a day. But uh, as always, if you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. If uh, this is your first time maybe seeing one of my videos, you know, give me a like, leave me a comment. Maybe introduce yourself. Tell me uh, what your favorite state park is or favorite hike in PA if you are even from PA. Um, but yeah, that's gonna wrap things up. Got one more trail tomorrow. Might be the best one in the park. So uh, you're not gonna wanna miss it. Got another really cool dam coming up. So, uh, all right guys, see you next week from uh, beautiful Laurel Hill State Park.